This video is sponsored by Costulus, the official Philippine supplier of the Ergodynamic Chair brand. If you've never heard of the brand before, you might be interested in watching my original video which talks about my chair that, at the time, cost only 7,700 pesos and yet it's still wonderfully comfortable nine years later. Nine years later. Our video has garnered 162,000 views as of today and apparently caused a panic buy which emptied the stocks of this chair from the costulous inventory for close to a year. To this day, our computer store and YouTube channel still gets inquiries about this chair from a lot of anxious viewers wanting to still get their hands on it. The good news is that costulous finally has stock of the EHC 420, the original chair I reviewed, and this more premium version, the EHC 80 right now. Unless, of course, people ransack the inventories again after this video, in which case, don't tell me I didn't warn you. I have reviewed chairs from all price ranges, including some which cost as low as 1,660 pesos and as high as 95,000. But what I can tell you is that the best value for money price range for a chair is within the 8,000 to 15,000 peso range. Value to me means that it doesn't cost too much, yet is both comfortable and extremely long-lasting. Again, my ergodynamic is now 9 years old and the recline and comfort is still excellent. Today, we are proud to review its more premium sibling. This is the EHC80. Get a discount of 1,000 pesos off the ergodynamic EHC80 by using promo code HARDWARESUGAR. It is good for the first 50 purchases only and so get it while supplies last. I'll leave a description on how to avail the promo in the video description. Costing 12,000 pesos, the EHC80 isn't strictly a very budget chair. But if you're like Ashley who bought a chair worth 4,000 pesos yet which broke within less than a year, then investing a little bit more on something which has the potential of lasting 10 years or longer doesn't sound like such a bad deal. The number one thing I love about ergodynamic chairs is the carefree recline nature of it. You can recline really far back without a single worry about falling and it really hits a certain sweet spot for me. You can lock the recline function on several levels or just rock back and forth like a boss. I complained in my CU M57 review that while it does recline well, I felt that it lacked just a few more inches to reach that absolute suspended in mid-air kind of experience which both the EHC80 and the EHC420 have. For purposes of comparison, I weigh 153 pounds and am 5 feet and 6 inches in height with a waistline of 30 inches. With that out of the way, let's talk about build and sturdiness. I mean, just look at the size of these bolts. There are four of them on each side at the base of the chair and you can tell by sitting on it immediately that this chair is built to last. One of the best ways to tell how strong a chair is is through checking what is underneath it. Something taught to me by the owners of Costulus is that a lot of online chairs may look alike online since most of them come from anonymous Chinese suppliers. And it is impossible to tell the quality of the buildup until you see how it is held together at the bottom. The EHC80 is supported by a sturdy metal base and industrial grade black matted plastic. I feel well grounded and stable whenever I lean back and never felt like any joint was going to break off. This is something I was always a little concerned about when it came to the Ethan and Nostin chairs. In terms of looks, the EHC80 is built to look like a stealth tank. The mere thought of having so many visible screws made me worried that it would make this chair tacky. However, because the screws all carry the same stealth black color and are laid out symmetrically, it makes the chair look and feel as though it is impervious to any damage you throw at it. Honestly, the design has grown on me, especially since it's very different from the smooth finishes on other chairs I've reviewed in the past. It is possible that these screws are probably redundant when it comes to actually securing the chair. However, it is the design message of it blatantly broadcasting how sturdy it is through its exposed muscles, which tells the user that yes, it was constructed to outlive time. Compared to the EHC420, this has more metal to show, thus adding to the more premium appearance. It has metal arm support which is very sturdy. There is no wiggle at all here. It also has a metal base and a splash of metal on the lumbar support dial. For an additional 1,000 pesos, I can already tell you that the EHC80 is most definitely worth paying a little more for as opposed to the EHC420. It looks and feels much more sturdy than the latter as well, especially with respect to the arms which always irritated me 
with the EHC 420 because of the wiggle. The back and headdress are made of good quality mesh which is tastefully installed around the edges unlike other chairs which expose individual threads. There is a subtle design difference with this mesh and that of my original chair however. As you can see from my original chair after 9 years of use, there is not a single punctured hole. I'm not sure if this is the same exact mesh used but if it is then I foresee no problem at all with respect to sturdiness. Mesh is my preferred choice because it keeps our backs nice and cool in our tropical Philippine climate but also lasts much longer than fake leather or leatherette, which in my experience peels almost always after one year or so. In terms of ergonomics, the chair goes up and down. It has a maximum seat height of 23 inches which is absolutely perfect for me because I have a tall desk and it is essential that my armrests are level with that of my desk in order to achieve optimal comfort for long hours of gaming and working. If your arms aren't level, what happens is stress is awkwardly placed on specific pressure points which make your arm ache in the long term. Even my 95,000 peso Aeron chair gives me trouble in this regard because the gas lift is too short. Here is one major tip, always match your table with a chair that is the proper height. If you're like me and the chair is too tall, get a foot rest in order to complete the ergonomic experience. Speaking of arms, they go up and down but do not move from side to side. This however never bothered me unlike the more expensive Sharkoon gaming chair in which the arms were so far apart that I could only use one arm at a time. The headrest goes up slightly and is shaped to my liking. I have always complained about the CYO M57 and the Aeron Atlas headdress as being a little awkward for my head. I don't really like how these headdresses attempt to curve my, around my head. The HC80 is more of a flat surface and so I feel less restricted when I use it. Again, for something which costs a fraction of much more expensive chairs or chairs within the same price range, I firmly believe that this is the most comfortable shape for a headdress. It also doesn't snag my hair, if ever you're wondering. The lumbar pillow's tension can be easily adjusted by spinning the wheel. This is a much more elegant design wheel as opposed to the aging AHC 420 because of the metal plating. In terms of comfort, I feel it is much better than the lumbar support found in the T50 which is almost double the price of this chair. To set it apart from other similar looking chairs, the AHC 80 has the curve which supports the lumbar support. I think this is purely cosmetic and while it isn't strictly minimal looking, it does make it stand out from chairs like the CYO M57. It also adds to the stealth tank-like look I mentioned earlier. In conclusion, the HC80 is a mid-range budget chair with a family history of having extremely strong genes when it comes to build quality and longevity. The owner of Costulus himself showed me his own HC80 which he proudly has been using for over 12 years. If I hadn't owned my previous one, I would have hardly believed it myself. It is also a very comfortable and versatile chair which offers a great recline and one of the best value for money chair purchases you can get on the market. For the record, we were supplied by this chair and have been compensated for this review by Costulus. However, that does not change my honest opinion about the Ergodynamic brand which I have been raving about since last year when Costulus couldn't have cared less when I initially tried reaching out to them for that video. If we sparked your interest, I'll leave a link in the video description as to where you can buy it online as well as links to other chair reviews. Don't forget to save 1,000 pesos off the Ergodynamic EHD-80 by using our promo code Hardware Sugar. Please check out the video description for the details on how to avail of it. Stay safe everyone. We want to give a special shout out to Christian Espinosa, Rafael James, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Liam Magnai, and John Ruben Ochia. Thank you so much for your continued support for more than a year. You guys are just freaking awesome. Thank you and let us know if you want us to embark on a specific kind of content other than what we already have.